Obviously, you've been uh, working towards this moment for a very long time, and now it's finally almost here, I guess. Uh, what's, what's the emotion like for you on fight week? I'm excited, and I'm ready. Um, it's like you said, John, yes, I have been working for this my entire career. Yeah. Does it feel different? I mean, like you said, like it's this goal that you're trying to work to, and, and now it's that moment. I mean, does it feel different than a normal fight week, or do you try to normalize it? I absolutely try to normalize it. Keep it simple, stupid. Uh, it's just another fight at the end of the day. If you get a belt at the end of the night, that's cute. I don't want to make it bigger than what it is and let the media and everything like that get to me. I just need to focus on what I do and uh, yeah, go to work. Nice. You were obviously vocal when things got rescheduled. You had the, the, the August uh, call out there, why she's not here. Um, what was going through your head at that time? Like, were you concerned that like somebody's going to take this away from me, or did you always know that you know this moment would get here? I always knew that this moment would get here, and uh, I wasn't concerned. You know, uh, mouth of the south over here had to do what I had to do to get the fight, but now that I got the fight and now that I knew that the fight was going to happen, I knew that, you know, a month from now, two months from now, or, you know, in the past, whatever, eventually the fight was going to happen, so I just needed to be patient, um, and uh, we're here. When you've seen Amanda's run, when you look at her opponents, do you, do you see mistakes that opponents are making or, or do you see that they, they just didn't have the right style, the right tools that, that you bring? What do you see as the reason that she hasn't been beaten in so long? You know, I don't um, take into consideration the failures of other fighters. I want to focus on myself. I didn't get here on uh, the failures of other fighters. I got here on my own successes and my own success is my focus. Nice. Um, concerned at all that you might have poked the bear a little bit too much, that she's going to be taking this thing personally and, and have a little extra edge on her that night? No, no. Um, it's a fight. It's nothing personal. You know, when you become the champ, you get a target put on your back. I would expect nothing less. You know, you got to uh, assume that people are going to want to gun for your spot. And so that's just uh, the nature of the beast. And uh, that's the way that this game works. Nice. Last thing for me, you win the belt on Saturday night. What means more? The fact that you're UFC champion, that you've been you know, working all this time for the fact that you, you take out the GOAT, which, which one means more to you? Anytime you can take out the GOAT, that's just, you know, obviously the feather and the cap there. Um, but I, I truly am ready to step into the light of becoming the new Bantamweight World Champion. I'm ready to be that role model for, for young women, for young men, uh, just to let them know that, you know, from a little tiny garage in Spokane, Washington, you can make it. You can make your dreams come true, and I'm ready to step into that light. Juliana, right here. Uh, do you feel Amanda's been tested off of her back, looking back at her previous opponents? Um, I don't, I don't know, you know? Um, I think that there's been uh, situations where people aren't able to, to put her there. But as you saw in her last fight uh, with Jermaine, you know, she was getting triangled. She was getting put in vulnerable uh, situations that uh, people haven't seen before. But, you know, she's human. She's human just like I am, you know, so. I remember after your win against Sarah McMahon, you had said you kind of knew taking her down, that was the path to victory, just looking at Sarah's previous opponents, that what they did well against her. So when you're watching all of those opponents kind of find some sort of success off there, like working on uh, with Amanda on the ground, is that what you're seeing as well, like a path to success that they couldn't achieve in there? My path to success is just to focus on me and what I can do and literally going to work and doing my job. I can't not tell you what she's going to do. I can just tell you that I will be ready to answer and I will be ready for whatever she brings. Then on one of the embeddeds, uh, your coach said that you are, quote, the perfect person to deal with that kind of firepower that Amanda Nunes is bring. So what exactly does he mean that sets you apart that you can deal with the firepower that Amanda Nunes brings? I mean, if you look back at uh, any of my previous fights, you know, I've only dropped two fights in the last 10 years, and they were to champions, to, and I was winning. If you go back and you look back at those fights, I'm literally winning. I have them dead in the water. I made some amateur mistakes that I have been able to clean up, and I'm ready to execute. And I think that the most important thing is, is to go out there and just do my job and focus on what I can do and make sure that I execute. Juliana, in the middle right here. Uh, you've done commentary work before, combate, right? Uh, just curious to know how kind of working on that side of things mentally helps you prepare and analyze, you know, opponents, if it has at all. I just want to give a shout out to Campbell McLaren for giving me an opportunity to uh, be put in that position to commentate and to uh, let me get my feet wet in the um, commentating field aside from fighting. And I'm just super grateful for that opportunity. I definitely think that it's kind of been a hard thing because I'm like motor mouth all the time.
the time and so like commentating is actually a lot harder than uh, I took into consideration and sometimes they're just like, you know, ease it down, back it up, you know, and I think that that's definitely helped me. Um, but as you can see, sometimes I still uh, kind of screw it up and let my uh, first thoughts come to mind and, and spew that out. So I think commentating for Combate has definitely helped me kind of rein it in a little bit. And, you know, obviously this has been a fight that you've been wanting for a long time. So in a way, do you kind of like having had more time to pre prepare for it? Or is it like, oh, I still would have wished I had it back when, you know, it was supposed to happen? It doesn't matter to me. Like I said, it doesn't matter. We're fighting. And that's the most important thing is whether it was supposed to be in August or December, the uh, moral of the story is, is that we will be fighting. We will be getting locked into the cage. And uh, that's going to be on Saturday. And so it's, there's no need to, you know, keep beating a dead horse. We're fighting. Best of luck, Juliana. Thank you.